Hey everyone, Joe here from Living to Learn. I just wanted to make a quick video. I had a, a lady reach out to me and she noticed how in my pictures I'm always hanging my bag from trees. And how I do that is a uh, Marlin Spike Hitch, which I'm going to show you now. But firstly, I want to take um, a, a chance to, to thank everybody in the community for the support. Um, over the, the last month of, of May, between the UK gathering, which um, uh, maybe you saw was a fantastic event, it worked out great, and the uh, more adventure. Um, trips like that wouldn't be possible and, and worth the effort without all the support that um, all you guys and girls give, and it, it makes this um, all very worthwhile. And coincidentally, while at the more adventure, um, I got a chance to talk to a couple of the guys, Pear and, and Dave, and, and, and some of the guys from Scandinavia, and they seen who are also on the community and who seen the demand for maybe a, a gathering across the pond in Scandinavia sometime next year. And I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag um, a little bit early, but it seems like that's looking like a, po a possibility. So we'll keep the fingers crossed. Also, a um, bit of a hint to a possible location. So keep the, the ears tuned to the page for that kind of maybe details to be coming along stream further. But without further ado. Um, I, I wanted to show the couple of people who got in touch with me um, the Marlins by Kitch and how I hang my bag. This is the Frost River that I'm running at the moment. This is a little something different, but in it, I always keep one of these, um, regardless of whether I, I hammock or not. This is just a um, DD ultra light kind of tree hugger. Um, not, the, not, the, not the May West when it comes to hanging large weights, it hasn't broke on me yet, but. You can see here they get pretty frayed up and pretty gnarled up when you depend on the tree you're hanging them around but i always carry one of these because they they pack up small it weighs absolutely nothing and it saves on cordage cordage is one of the most difficult things to replicate when you're out in the woods well for me anyway but just it's very environmentally and seasonally dependent when it comes to cordage and i don't anything that saves me cutting off huge amounts of bank line or paracord to do simple projects i do and this is a gift for for many things so it's got two um double-ended loops in it, two over double stitch ones like that, and I use this for suspending stuff from trees, carrying logs, and um, it's it's basically a piece of cordage. Now you can also use things like mule tape, or if you have a spare bit of paracord, you could um, make one up yourself with a couple of overhanded loops. But the Marlin hitch is what I use for suspending my bag, and you'll see it in an awful lot of people's photos when their bags are hanging from trees. There'll be a Marlin hitch um, somewhere in the line. And it's a nice one to know, um, not just for suspending your bag, but if you're working on um, things like hammocks or some ridge lines and you, you want to kind of use minimal cordage, the Marlin Spike Hitch is a, is a fantastic one. So I'm going to pause the video and get you in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Right, so here we are. This is the, the tree that's out my back garden, but you can, you can imagine that we're in a, a boreal forest or coniferous forest somewhere else. So what you want to do is take your cord so if you're using paracord or whatever, just put an overhand loop in the top of it and get it up on the tree, kind of roughly where you want it to be. So there you go. So you're left with this really long tail here. So to start your Marlin spike hitch, you just rotate it over. So you end up with a piece like this. So you have your, your over bit here, your running end here. And you just want to lift it up and pinch it, so lift, pinch, and you'll see here, you end up with something like that. And when you pull that tight, it constricts, and it stays there. You can loosen it up again, and then the great thing about it is, it just pulls out, like any good hitch. So when you want to suspend something from it, be a, a, a backpack or any load, again, you cross over, you pinch this, up, and pull through. So you end up with something like that. You can insert your stick and you can just adjust it to where you need it to be. It's an old sailor's knot and used by an awful lot of arborists but once she bites that's a very very strong knot. She won't go anywhere. So then to hang your bag from it you just take your, your grab handle or anything else you wish and you pass it through. And you got yourself a nice bag hanger, keeps your stuff up off the ground. You can have this up at a height that's comfortable to work for you. Um, I currently just threw some stuff in from my trip. I will be doing a loadout on this once I, um, 
once I get it finished, but then you can just take it down, loosen up your hitch from the bottom, pull out your timber, and you're ready to go again. Now, some people use this for hammocks, and um, most hammock companies will not recommend you use a marlin hitch, but just while we're on the on the subject and while we're here, I'll show you how, how you do that. So you would need a carabiner. I always have two carabiners strapped to my bags. Again, they're just handy. These are the DMM ultralight ones. They weigh nothing at all, and I've had these years. They're, they're very tough. So we flop it over here, and we go up, and we pinch through. Now, you can either Put your carabiner straight in here if you had it hanging on your hammock and you can tighten it down like that but these can be a bit of a pain to get back out once you you know you slept in it and this is all tensioned up over the course of the night so you can put your piece of timber in and bite it down making sure it's not a dead piece of timber you want a pretty solid piece of timber you can take the guy line from your tarp or you can take the the, the slings from your hammock and you can go up over the top of the knot and that won't uh, that won't go anywhere. I've slept many a night. I'm 210 pounds, and I've slept many a night um, using that configuration. Because you can get away with this now if you hammock. There's a, a thing called Eno straps, the Atlas Eno straps, which have overhand loops pulling it. They're about 40 euro. But as a makeshift kind of do hickey, that has done me on many a situation. And you can just again pop it off and pull it out. I'll show you what I mean about the carabiners really quickly. So if you have your carabiner in here, it will tighten down. And of course, over the night, it could rain, etc. And you could, you have all this under suspension. So when it comes time to get it off, these could be locked in there properly. And even though you loosen them up, they can catch in the gates. Or you can go around this way and they'll kind of... It can be a bit fiddly. So if you can use a stick, I recommend doing that. And you're good to go. Take your strap off your tree and back in your bag. So there, I hope um, that answers a couple of guys' questions in regards to the Marlin Spike Hitch. Um, it is absolutely scorching in Dublin today. Um, not a cloud in the sky, and we're about 20 degrees, so I hope some of you can get out and enjoy the weather. But that's a, that's the Marlin Spike Hitch. A great one and a really nice one to have in your arsenal. Um, in, if you know only five knots, that's a, that's a good one to know. All right. Hope you enjoy the weather and have a have a good week. It's great to be back on on Living to Learn, and I'm I'm Joe.